Hey, good morning guys. I'm the Tech Prepper. I wanted to make a very quick uh, video before work today and uh, talk about gear and uh, really talk to the preppers out there, new and old, um, about the importance of actually getting to know your gear and actually uh, making sure you have confidence that your gear is going to support you. So uh, the last couple of videos I had done, um, I had covered APRS uh, it is a service in amateur radio for doing tactical uh, communication. And I was using this $25 Baofeng radio and a fairly old Android phone. And while this worked great as an experiment to uh, kind of get me into APRS and make me confident that that works as a technology, I don't trust these two devices. Uh, they will probably both burst into a thousand pieces if they were to be uh, dropped or bumped in the wrong way. So I've made some modifications um, after uh, quite a bit more experimentation and I've decided to use my everyday uh, handheld uh, phone. This is my Yesu FT60R. It's a fairly old phone, or sorry, it's a fairly old uh, radio. Uh, it's analog only. Uh, the reason why I like it is that it has rugged construction and I'm very positive I could drop it without it bursting into pieces like the Baofeng. And it's been around for at least 15 years. Uh, I may be wrong on that number, but it's been around long enough where it's been tried and true, it's been tested, and that's what I look for in a device. And it also has a higher pri price point. Not something that'll break the bank. I think this was about 140 bucks when I bought it a couple years ago. Uh, so this is the change that I did for the radio. Now let's talk about the phones, and there's gonna be a lot of fun stuff, so stick around for the phone testing. Um, for anybody who knows me, I'm not a phone guy. I'm still rocking the old iPhone 6 and 8. Uh, in fact, I still keep my old, really old phones around uh, just in case. And I wanted something a bit more rugged and something that did not break the bank. And I found this phone online. It is the Uli Phone Armor X7. I bought it for $119 on Amazon. And I'll put a link below for anybody who wants to uh, support the channel. And the reason why I liked it is that, um, one is the price point. Uh, two are all the rugged claims. It has uh, IP68 uh, certification around it. And again, I'll use the term certification loosely uh, because it has gone through like an independent laboratory. Uh, so those tests may, uh, may be very subjective. Um, but what I like about it is that it's also unlocked. It's dual SIM, it's an Android uh, 10 device. So for me, it kind of fits the build for running APRS Droid. And um, what I actually want to do is see how much, how, how well it stacks up against the IP68 claim. And all that is, it's A rating, it stands for ingress protection. And there are two numbers. The first number has to do with the protection of solids. Uh, in this case, six is the uh, protection of uh, elements uh, at the size of basically a dust particle coming into the phone. So in the desert, that's perfect. And the eight has to do with the uh, water submersion level or depth and time. So uh, IP68 uh, essentially means that I could submerge this phone underwater for one meter for up to 30 minutes to protect, prevent any liquids from actually uh, compromising um, the exterior and getting into the electronics. Um, we're going to do a test in the pool with the pup, and I'm going to try some underwater filming with this. So we'll do that at the end. But for right now, what I want to do is actually test to see if APRS Droid will continue to run while we actually drop it into my water collection system. And I'm going to do this in one cut, guys, so I do apologize for any shaky camera behavior. So our home has a couple of uh, drainage spots throughout the house. We've got two on this side of the house uh, and then two or three on each of the other three walls. And we had a pretty uh, intense uh, monsoon come in here the other day. And uh, my five gallon buckets Yeah, there we go. My five gallon buckets there at the bottom uh, were basically filled up in just a matter of minutes. So we're going to be upgrading to uh, 55 gallon uh, drums for all of these areas to collect water. But 
what I want to do, and uh, let me make sure I'm still in frame here. All right, so we're going to take our phone, and this is the first time I've done this. This is not the type of review I'm going to do uh, in the future, but let's go ahead and give it a good dunk. All right, so uh, let me reorient the camera and let's wipe this bad boy off and let's see what we're working with here. Right, so the app still appears to be running. I'm gonna go ahead and try to beacon my location really quickly here. All right, so we're back on the main screen. I don't know if you're gonna see that, but I'm gonna go ahead and send my position. And there we go, this phone still appears to be working. Um, so I'm going to do a few more tests here. Uh, I think at the end of uh, my rant here, my talk, whatever we're calling my, uh, my filming sessions here, I'm going to take it to the pool with the dog, and I'm going to show you a little trick that she can do, and I'm going to try to see if we can film underwater. All right, guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared. All right, babe, Let's throw it in. Throw it in. <laughs> 